Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I welcome you all to your very own channel, Speak English with Bahad. Once again, this is me, Sabrina, here to guide you with the compulsory subject, General Science and Ability. Today, this tutorial is about weather and variation. This is part two of the first lecture, which is continued. Beginning my lecture, what is a weather system? Weather systems are simply the movement of warm and cold air across the globe. These movements are known as low pressure systems and high pressure systems. The low pressure system consists of rotating masses of warm, moist air. They usually bring storms and high winds. Whereas the high pressure system are rotating masses of cool, dry air, keeping the moisture from rising into the atmosphere and forming the clouds. Therefore, they are usually associated with the clear skies. At sea level, the pressure varies only by a few percent. Large regions in the atmosphere that have higher pressure than the surroundings are called high pressure areas. Regions with lower pressure than surroundings are called low pressure areas. Most storms occur in low pressure areas. Rapidly falling pressure usually means a storm is approaching whereas rapidly rising pressure usually indicates that skies will be clear. Now, what are some factors that influence the weather? Number one is a water cycle. What is a water cycle? The heat from the sun or insulation from the sun causes water to rise in the form of water, which causes the formation of water vapors. This process is known as evaporation. Water vapor provides moisture that forms clouds. In return, in the form of precipitation, and the cycle continues. Basically, the water cycle provides rain, snow, sleep. The second is air masses. What is an air mass? Air on the surface having a particular uniform humidity and temperature is called air mass. There are two types of air masses, cold air mass and hot air mass. What happens when both of these collide? When cold air pushes hot air upwards, temperature drops and air cannot hold water when it is warm so the cold water molecules condense and form cloud air masses are basically different form of clouds having different temperature and humidity for instance in the Atlantic Ocean the air masses causes warm and humid temperature whereas the air masses of winter and snow and ice of northern Canada are dry and cold what are the jet streams? It is an area of air above two air masses greater, where greater the temperature difference, it influences greater the pressure and faster the wind blows. A mean string current of high speed wind, a jet stream is found about 5 to 10 miles above the Earth's surface. What is a weather map? Understanding the fronts can help understand what kind of weather to expect when looking at a map. What is a front? Transition zone between two air masses of different humidity and temperature is called a front. There are four types of front, warm fronts, cold front, stationary front, and occluded front. What is a warm front? A warm front, uh, sorry, what is a warm front? Warm front moves slower than the cold front. This is basically the leading front of warm air mass. This is indicated as red color in the weather map. Now, what is the cold front? This is the leading front of colder air mass. Cold air displaces warm air. It brings towering clouds and intense storms, whereas the, the warm front brings casual clouds, rain, sleets, snow, and dews. The cold front is indicated as blue color in the weather map. Now, what is the stationary front? This is basically the front where, where air does not move at all. Neither mass displaces the other. This is shown with both red and blue dots. What is the occluded front? The occluded front has both warm and cold occludes. This is basically overtake of a cold front on a warm front. This is indicated as a line. Now what are the spirals? The spirals are basically indication of cyclones and anticyclones in the weather map. What is a cyclone? 
cyclone is wind rotating around the center of minimum of low barometer, barometric pressure. And what is an anticyclone? The anticyclone refers to the region in which atmospheric pressure is high, with highest point at the center. In this situation, the wind blows spirally outward from the center. So in the weather map, the spirals are shown for indication of a cyclone, an anticyclone, or other type of a tornado. What is a weather scale? Monsoons. Monsoons occur on a global scale and are amongst the largest weather system extending for thousands of miles. In Pakistan, the monsoons are expected in from July to August. Thunderstorms are much smaller, typically 10 to 20, 20 kilometers across. Tornadoes which extend from the bases of thunderstorms range from less than 50 meters across to as much as 2 kilometers across. What is weather forecasting? It was initiated in 20th century. Basically, this is done by agencies such as World Meteorological Organization and National Weather Service. These work in predicting the weather using computer and instruments such as radars and satellites, which regulate the weather map, applying laws of motion and conservation of energy, and must to produce the forecasts. What is weather modification? This is basically a process to change the weather, usually done by the farmers. The first type is cloud seeding. Water droplet clouds with tops colder than about minus 5 degrees Celsius can be made to produce rain by seeding them with substances such as silver iodide. Cloud seeding causes ice crystals to form and grow large enough to fall out of a cloud. Weather near the ground is routinely modified for agricultural purposes. For example, soil is darkened to raise its temperature and fans are turned on during clear, cold nights to stir the warmer air down to the ground and help prevent frost damage. Some human activities are also causing the natural weather modification. The global warming is a very concise problem, global issue of the world, which is caused by the human activities by using mostly chlorofluorochlorides and their uh, emissions into the atmosphere are causing the ozone depletions. In the end, there is a short activity. Write a brief note, brief note on advantages of weather forecasting or state the disadvantages of weather modification. Either a fork weather forecast के एडवांटेजेस पर फाइव मार्क्स का नोट लिख सकते हैं कमेंट सेक्शन में या फिर आप वेदर मॉडिफिकेशन के डिसएडवांटेजेस लिख सकते हैं आप अगर कमेंट में लिखेंगे मैं थोड़ा सा उसको एनालाइज करूंगी और आपको बताऊंगी कि पेपर में आपने अगर एक क्वेश्चन आया आपने कैसे अटेम्प्ट करना है आगे मैंने लिखा भी है फाइव मार्क्स तो फाइव मार्क्स के मुताबिक आपने इसको अटेम्प्ट करना है आई होप आपको पूरा समझ आया हो आई होप आप सारा क्लियर हो गया हो इसके अलावा अगर आपकी कोई भी क्वेरी हो या कोई भी रिक्वेस्ट हो या कुछ एक्स्ट्रा आपने पढ़ना है या कोई सोर्स चाहिए तो यू कैन मेंशन दैट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वाचिंग फिलहाल अल्लाह हाफिज़